What's up guys, Shane Starnes here. If you're like me, then you're probably looking forward to all the blockbuster hits coming out this summer. You may also be looking for the best portable projector solution, and I've got one for you. Big shout outs to BenQ for sponsoring this video. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the GV30. BenQ says that this is the first ever portable projector with a 2.1 channel stereo system. So not only are we gonna get a great projection anywhere we want, but we're also gonna get some good sound. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, we're gonna take this out of the box and see what all this comes with. Ooh, that's nice. I like this carrying case. That's gonna make carrying this thing around very nice and easy. I like that handle there. Also in the box was an HDMI media streaming device. So I'm guessing this is how we're going to add Android TV to the projector. So you just plug that into the HDMI. Right, let's go ahead and open up the carrying pouch, the carrying case here. All right, so this is the projector. We've got some reading instructions with a quick start guide here. Okay, it looks like we've got our power cord. This does have a battery inside of it, so you're gonna get up to two and a half hours or maybe even more of playtime on a single charge, but you can plug this up and run this off power. They also included some batteries for the remote. I always like when they do include the batteries for the remote. Okay, here's our base for the projector. Here's the projector itself. We've got our speakers on either side. We've got our base up top. There is a nice little handle here up top as well. On top of the projector, we have our power button, volume up and down, and our Bluetooth. This does double as a Bluetooth speaker. And then on the front there, you've got your lens, and there is a sensor here for autofocus and auto keystone correction. On the bottom here, we've got a spot where we can get this connected to a tripod. And then over on the side, we've got all of our connections here. You've got an HDMI connection, USB-C. So if you had like a thumb drive with some videos or something like that, you could plug it in there and access those. You also have a headphone jack, so you're able to plug in um, maybe an extra sound system or something like that and you've got your power there as well. I thought it was worth mentioning here. So you do have the uh, HDMI media streaming stick here. That goes on the inside of the projector. Take the included tool, pop that open. Once we have that open, you'll plug this little power cord into the side, okay? And then there's an HDMI port here, so you'll just kind of slide that into place. Once that's all set, we'll just replace the side panel, and we're now good to go. So here we have the remote, and one thing that I thought was pretty cool about this, when you take the back off, the back's connected, so you're not gonna lose the back and just connect it to the remote. That was pretty cool. You got your volume up and down here, a home button, a back button, settings, projector menu. You've got your Google Assist button there for your voice control, a mute button. You've got your D-pad and your selection, a source button, an Amazon Prime video button. That's interesting. Uh, and then we've got our autofocus, our auto keystone correction, and our power. I'm not really sure what this triangle is for. This is for sure the first portable projector that I've ever used that really does focus on sound. So like they said, this has a 2.1 channel speaker system. So you get two four watt speakers, one for the left and one for the right. And then you also get an eight watt subwoofer. So you're gonna get lots of bass out of the system, probably more bass than you've heard from a portable projector. So that really comes in handy whenever you're watching an action movie and there's lots of action, that bass can really help you to feel what's going on in the movie. That being said, this is not going to replace your surround sound system. Obviously, it's not going to replace a high quality sound bar. But while most portable projector speakers are not even usable, you actually have a high quality usable speaker system on this portable projector. The next big selling point here has to be the versatility and ease of setup on this projector. This has a very unique 135 degree tilt hinge design. So whether you want to watch on a wall or if you want to tilt it all the way back and watch movies and TV shows on your ceiling, you're able to do that very easily. There's nothing worse than taking half an hour to set up a portable projector. Whenever you get ready to watch your movie, you wanna be able to set it up quick and watch your movie fast. With features like autofocus and auto keystone correction, you're gonna be set up in no time. As soon as you point the projector at the surface, that autofocus begins to do its job and the auto keystone correction kicks in. There is a manual keystone correction as well so that you're able to manually correct the keystone to your liking, so I like that. I just love the fact that you have super high quality autofocus and auto keystone correction at this price. I really think one of the main considerations when looking at a portable projector 
projector like the GB30 would have to be video and picture quality. So I do have to say that this gets pretty bright in dark rooms. It does have 300 ANSI lumens. As long as you have a very dark environment, say uh, your theater room at night with the lights turned off, or maybe if you're projecting something outdoors, just wait for the sun to go down and you should be fine. Whenever you do turn on the lights in the room, the image does get a bit washed out, but that is to be expected at 300 ANSI lumens. And as long as you have a dark room or a dark environment, I think this gets plenty bright and looks really good. As far as resolution, this is a 720p projector, so it doesn't get as sharp as other 4K projectors on the market. But that being said, you're looking at a much more affordable portable projector at 599. So I think this 720p at the price point still looks really good. Of course, colors are vibrant here, and overall, I can't complain about the picture coming out of this projector. While this does have an HDMI port, and you can connect other devices like the Roku or a Fire Stick or something like that to the GB30, this does include Android TV. So you can do an entirely wireless setup here, and you really don't have to connect anything to the projector to get started. So you'll be able to access all of your favorite streaming applications like Disney+, Plus, Hulu, um, and even Netflix. To install Netflix, all you have to do is download Apps Manager from the Google Play Store, then just find and install Aptoid, and then from Aptoid, you can download and install Netflix and then you're good to go. The other major benefit of Android TV is that you're able to cast video from your phone, laptop, or other device, which just makes it even that much easier to watch content on this portable projector. If you have kids like me, then losing the remote to something is a common occurrence in your household. That's no issue. You can actually control the GB30 with the BenQ Smart Control app. You can grab that application from the Google Play Store and then you can just use your phone as a remote control for this projector. I think that's another great feature. And earlier I mentioned a wireless setup. This projector actually includes a battery which is rated to last up to two and a half hours on a full charge. You'll be able to watch a movie in its entirety before having to recharge the portable projector. And of course, if you have this set up somewhere inside and you're able to access an outlet, you can plug this into a wall outlet while you're watching your movies and TV shows. Overall, the GB30 is a powerful portable projector with really great sound. I love that attention to the sound quality coming out of this projector. I love the fact that it is super easy to set up and begin watching TV and videos instantly. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can pick up the BenQ GB30 today. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.